think we should start with the show opener video. These cookies are delicious. Thanks, Miss Farmer. Oh. Sorry. I don't know. Maybe I could welcome everyone to the show first? Maybe. Oh, hey, team kids. Hey, guys. Great timing. Keller and I can't decide how we should begin our first ever show. We started a vlog channel that's all about missions. Well, I hope you guys can help, because I'd love to post the video today. Okay, so I think we should start by me explaining what our show's about. Hello everybody, I'm Elle. Welcome to TK Go TV, the show where team kids go on mission through praying, giving, and serving with missionaries and Christian workers across the globe. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty good. Now, let's give them a look at our show opener. Let's take a look. Nice. And I'm still not sure what to do. You know what, El? I don't really think it matters how we start or end the show. All that matters is sharing how God is at work all around the world. You're so right. So, for now, let's just give our friends a sneak peek at what we have so far. We can decide on the details later. Okay, let's do it. Team Kids, we hope you're as happy as we are to get to hear and be a part of how God is using missionaries to share His gospel with people everywhere. And we hope you're excited to discover ways God can work through you to tell others about Jesus too. God has always been at work around the world. So today we wanted to share a story about a missionary who lived a long time ago. His name was David Livingston. He was born- Uh, Elle? Yeah. Let's just show them the video. Right. Okay, here we go. Most of you probably remember the 1800s as a time when the bicycle, refrigerator, and tin can were invented. Wait a minute, how can you remember that? You weren't even born for another couple hundred years. But today's Missionary Spotlight goes to a guy who was born in the 1800s. David Livingston was born in Scotland in 1813. As a kid, David loved to learn. He especially enjoyed learning about other places and countries. He was an explorer at heart. When he grew up, David knew he wanted to be a missionary. A friend told him that many people needed to hear the gospel in African countries, so David headed that way. As soon as David arrived, he began to explore his new home. David traveled to parts of Africa where no other European had gone before. He wanted to take the gospel to areas where it had never been. David made many amazing discoveries during his travels. One of the most famous was Victoria Falls, one of the largest waterfalls in the world. He also discovered that many people in Africa were being sold unwillingly as enslaved people. God used David to encourage others to sell Africa's many valuable natural resources instead of its people. This eventually helped lead to the end of slave trade. So what does David Livingston's story have to do with us today? We can be like David Livingston. No matter where we go, we can show people that we respect and value everyone, and we want all people to know about the love of Jesus. Well, what did you think? If you liked what you saw, stick around. We can't wait to share more mission stories with you. Meanwhile, we'll get back to those details. Bye. Bye. 